Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. So my name is Lexi Jong and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are um, Hi, thank you so much for joining me today. So my name is Lexi Jong and if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. And today I wanted to go over the Linda Hallberg Enchanted Mysteries palette. So recently I had a huge haul of Linda Hallberg products and I went through um, some of them like the crayons and the Infinity palette and I hadn't gotten a chance to go over the Enchanted Mysteries, which was one of the main things that I wanted to purchase because I love green. <laughs> green and purple are my favorite colors in general. Um, and I happen to like both of them as eyeshadow as well. So this palette was a must for me. And um, it comes in, this is a like a cardboard case. You've got the mirror here and then you have four shades and these are really large shades. So let me just show you a Chanel palette in comparison. So you can see that these are very large. You're getting a lot of product per pan and there are four shades. All right, so here are the four shades. You've got green, which is called Lacuna. You have a white, Sarian. Um, the black is Void and the gold is Aura. So here are those shades. You can see the white one is really, um, it's very light. It's more of a topper shade. It's very light, sparkling, glittery. And the gold here, I will swatch these on my arm as well, where it's a little smoother. So you can see that a bit better. Okay, right, but this green, I think there might be like a little bit of a black base in there. You can see it gets really dark when you shift it sometimes, but for the most part, it's a really bright emerald green. It's beautiful. I love this shade. This white Sarian is really more of a topper shade. It is very light, white, sparkly, and, um, you know, you can build it up to make it a bit deeper, but for the most part, it is going to be um, pretty much transparent. The black shade, Void, there is some, let's make that a little darker, there is a little bit of sparkle in there, um, not too much, and it's, you know, it's a nice black shade. It's not as powdery as some black shadows are, but it does really sheer out. And the gold, Aura, um, this is a really beautiful shade that can be sheared out so you have just a touch of gold or you can really pack it on. So that's one of the things I like about these Linda Hallberg um, shadows, if you want to call them that, because they, they consider them colors um, because you can use that. You don't have to use them just on the eyes, but her products are really buildable. So I really like that. I think it makes it much more easier to use, especially for somebody like me who does not have any professional experience. And uh, I really like them and they last really well. So those are the swatches. I do have a demo of this eye look at the end if you are interested in watching that. And the uh, um, eyeshadow, you know, for me, I love this. I can definitely see why she is why Linda Hallberg is compared to Pat McGrath um, because they both have these beautiful um, shades that just they're so sparkly and beautiful and they build up. Um, one thing I have to note is I really did not have much fallout so I did get a little bit of fallout from the black shade Void um, but that was mostly due to my technique because I was lining it with the eye and kind of Licking it so the powder kind of flicked onto my cheek a little bit um, but when I was actually applying the shadows with the brushes I did not have any significant fallout of any of the other colors so overall I really like these shadows and I am definitely intrigued and would like to purchase more in the future so if you are interested in this look stay tuned and I pretty much gave you guys my opinions now, but I really, 
yeah, I really do like these and plan to use these again. Um, one thing to note is this green shade, you know, it's, I wouldn't go so far as to call it a true duochrome, but there is a little color shift to it. Like it does change depth of green, like whether it's bright or more foresty with the light. So it's not really a duochrome where it's like changing actual colors. It's still pretty much green, but it does change the depth of green, um, which is really nice. And again, the gold shade, you can put it on very lightly or really pack it on to get a more vibrant gold. So I think these are fantastic. I really enjoy them. And uh, again, stay tuned for the look if you are interested. Thanks so much. Okay, so I am going to start off with this gold shade, Ara, A-R-A, or Ara. And I am using the Linda Hallberg 304 brush. And I'm going to basically apply this um, primarily in the crease and then kind of all over. But I think I want the major color today to be the green. Oh, I forgot to move in closer. Hold on one second. All right, so Ara kind of all over, but primarily in the crease here. So I'm just going back and forth in the crease gonna kind of buff a little bit in some circles on just on the edge of the brow bone I'm not gonna go like all the way up but I've got you can see that I've actually got a little bit of the sparkle all the way up to here just very lightly okay and just wiping the excess down there to the lash line so there's pretty much nothing there which is fine because I'm going to be putting the green there Okay, so I think they are about the same. This color is actually, I thought it might be like really um, dark, but it's really buildable instead. So I really like that and I appreciate that um, because I think it makes it easier to use. And I think this color would be beautiful just, you know, as a single shadow. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the Linda Hallberg 303 and it's a little bit more of a flat shader, but you can see that it is not completely flat. It's like an oval brush. So the green shade is Lacuna. And I'm going to put some on here and I'm going to press it in here. So I'm concentrating it down by the lash line. I love this green. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the shift, but there is like, I guess a black base in there. So it's mostly emerald. And then every little bit of movement, you see like, um, like a darker green that looks more, you know, like it's got, it, it's more black. <laughs> okay, definitely really love this green. Okay, right. I'm actually going to take this 301 brush, which is really small. I'm going to go into this white shade Sarian right here. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner. So I'm just going to kind of dab some on the brush. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to put that there. I'll put this right above the brow arch. Because um, this is actually really light and sparkly. I think it'll be a, a good highlight. But I think I'm gonna go back in with the gold um, Ara. So I'm gonna use the same brush and apply this to the inner portion here. All right, so I kind of have a stark contrast between the gold and the green, but 
I like that. So I am not going to blend those further. I actually like it the way it is. And I want to go back in with the, actually let's go in with, um, it's a 305 brush. It's a, I don't know, more like a, um, concealer type brush actually, you know, it's very flat, but it's not fluffy like a, a shader at all. I'm going to go into this void shade and just add a dab of this at the outer corner. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And I'm going to be using this shade to line my eyes. So I don't want to add too much. Um, I really just want the green to be the emphasis. All right, so moving on, we got the 304 brush that I use for the gold. I'm just going to blend. And I'm not adding any additional shadow. But I just want some of that glitter from the green and the gold to kind of mix. So I'm leaving my eye open while I blend to make sure I'm not really going into that crease too much. I'm just blending kind of what's already out there. All right, and for under the eye, I'm gonna go back in with this 301 brush into the gold aura shade and I'm going to do this under my eye. So I'm just kind of actually swirling my brush in it to kind of coat it completely. And I'm using the tip, but I'm pressing a little bit so that I'm getting a little bit of the side as well. So it's like a thicker line. Okay, I'm wiping that brush off and I'm gonna go back into Void, the black one, with this brush. And I'm going to, again, swirl it in there. And I'm gonna line the upper lashes with this. And I'm dragging a little bit of the excess down, just a little bit with the gold. Just about halfway there. Okay, I'm cleaning that brush off and I'm just gonna smudge the lower lash line here. All right, wiping that off, going in with the white, and putting a little bit of the white at the inner portion of the lower corner. So I've got white and gold, and then gold and black, and kind of a mix in the middle. Okay, I decided to bring just a little bit more of the white um, Sarian shade to the center of the inner corner here. All right, and then I'm gonna take my finger and get a little bit of the green on there. And I'm just going all the way up in the center of my lip. Oh, didn't even do that. Have to blend that in again. But anyway, I'm going up in the center just with the green. So it's a little bit brighter just there in the middle. And I'm gonna take a different finger and go into the white and just dab that a little bit more the inner corner, kind of climbing a little bit on the bridge of the nose. And right, going back in with that 304 brush for blending to kind of fix my mistake here. And that is it for the eyeshadow. I really, love this green shade and that was what I purchased this palette for is this green. I love how sparkly these are. I like how they can be sheared out if you want to or you can kind of leave them you know deep and bright and I think all of the shadows played pretty well together. The only one I'm not quite positive about is the void the black color. 
I did, you know, from my um, eyeliner application, I got a little black fallout. I didn't really have fallout from the other shades, and I know it was from the motion I did with the brush. It was kind of flicking, so that is my fault. That's not the shadow's fault. Um, but I'm not sure if it, like it, the black was a little bit more powdery than um, I thought it would be. However, it's not more powdery than other black shadows. So, you know, in general, I think black pigments are a little bit drier. And, you know, I think that is the issue with this one. So, um, you know, it, it's not really an issue per se. It's fine for a black pig, for a black eyeshadow. It's just not, um, you know, stellar. The other shades, however, I really like. Okay, so this is my final look. And I wasn't going to add any additional eyeliner, but... I was about to apply the mascara and I decided it just needed a little bit something else because these colors are so bold and just so bright and beautiful. Um, so I added the Surat Autographic Eyeliner in black and I actually, I was not going to wing it out, but my hand shook when I was finishing up over in the corner and I made a dab over here. So I decided to just turn it into a thick wing. So I tried to match it on both sides, um, but I think it turned out well. And um, yeah, other than that, I added some highlight and lipstick. For the lipstick, I used the Linda Hallberg Fantastic Lipstick in Goldstone, which is, well, it's this shade here. <laughs> um, it's like a rosy rosy pink shade um but i really like these lipsticks so i purchased three of them when i made my haul and i have been enjoying all three of them i think they have a very balmy texture like a lip balm but they're very pigmented and most of the time when you feel something that balmy they're very sheer and it's hard to develop that color level but with these i think they're very versatile you can shear them out so you just have a touch of color or they layer and you can get something more pigmented so this is two layers here but if you want to get it super sheer you could use like a lip brush and just apply with that and the thing that's so wonderful about it is this lip balm texture is just so incredibly comfortable to wear so i really like the fantastic lipsticks so far <laughs> and um they remind me of a more balmy feeling uh, to like the Chantecai Lip Sheiks. So if you're familiar with the Chantecai Lip Sheiks, they have a bit of a balmy texture to them as well, but this is that amped up. Um, so I really like these a lot. And um, yeah, so overall I gave you guys my thoughts kind of in the beginning, in the intro but I love these shadows. I can't wait to purchase more. I think they are, you know, um, a, a pretty good deal because these shadow pans are so large and it's, um, there are two and a half grams each. These are completely vegan and, you know, I just think they wear well. So I have worn, this is my first time using this palette, but the ones I've used from the Infinity palette have worn very well, no issues with like creasing or anything. Um, the fact that these are so glittery and don't really have fallout is quite an accomplishment in my opinion. And I am just really enamored with the color and if I had to pick, my two favorite shades from here are going to be the Aura and the Green because I really like how sheer you can apply this Aura so, or Aura. I'm not sure how to say it, but I like how you can kind of sheer it out and just get a touch of gold or you can really kind of build it up and get something a lot deeper. Um, and I think it's great as a one and done shadow as well. And obviously the, the Green is my favorite because it is just like the perfect green. This is the shade of eyeliner I'm looking for. Basically, I want this and a liquid eyeliner. I'll have to play around with this, um, adding some liquid and see how that turns out, but it is beautiful. Um, so that is basically it. I really do enjoy these, and if you have used any of these, uh, please let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are and any comments or suggestions in general, please leave them down below. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. 
Subscribe if you haven't already. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. I cannot wait to play with some more makeup. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and uh, unfortunately remaining inside. So uh, have a great day and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.